Hey, you guys, we're outside. <laughs> yeah, we're outside. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We've had some rain this morning. Fortunately, we don't have a four-star French chef here who can't cook without a roof over their head. We have Mr. Al Perry, yeah. the host of YouTube's Cooking with Al. How are you, brother? Good, Terry. Good to see you. Nice it's to fun. see you, too. It's been, uh, it's been a little bit since I've seen you, so. Yeah, a few months, yeah. Good to have you back. Yeah, and, uh, always love it. Here we are dealing with the elements. Yeah, I had it all set out, everything, and then it started raining, so I pulled everything inside. We was just going to do a little talk inside because it was raining like five minutes ago. It was raining, but we're doing it. So and then it stopped. Out. It looks like we'll be okay. Sweet. We're, we're going to make some Dutch oven mac and cheese from scratch. So what we're going to do here, if you, you used one of these, this is a blender. Sure, the bullet. Yeah. So let's, there's some milk here and some cottage cheese there. Pour in there. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna no 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 pour it in the blender. Oh, in the yeah, blender. Yeah. I'm well, ahead of myself. Sorry. Well, you're no. Doing... It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I take direction well. So there's two no, cups Terry. of milk, and then we have a cup of cottage cheese. That'll go in there too. Yeah. But I'm just rubbing butter on the side of the Dutch oven and on the bottom here too. So this is delicious, and it, like I said, it's from scratch, and it is so good and easy. So that looks pretty good. And then uh, hopefully I can remember all the spices. I had all the spices set out here so I could kind of look over there and cheat. Right, right. But we have a tablespoon of ground mustard, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, a pinch of cayenne pepper, and a pinch of nutmeg. I think that was it. So we'll put that in there. All right. Get that. Then we're going to whip it up. <laughs> My wife had tr showed me how to use this. I've never even used this yet. Oh, no kidding. And so she's like, you just put it in here. It's oh, doing yeah. great, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, that's, Alan the Nutribullet, that's hashtag pretty, winning. Good job. Pretty slick. So let's pour this in here. So with the bullet, you're kind of breaking up the the clotted texture of the of the cottage cheese. Yeah. So the milk and the cottage cheese, and the the spices, and then we're gonna we're gonna put some grated cheese in here too. Mm -hmm. But this is eight ounces of just your elbow noodles. And you're putting the noodles, so you're not boiling these noodles before you make the sauce. No, you're, no. We'll they're just, basically going to be infused with, right, with the sauce. And get so, all this good flavor, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do that. And then I have eight ounces of sharp. You want sharp cheese when okay. you, for uh, mac and cheese. It gives it a good flavor. So we're going to put almost all of this in. I want, and then in 30 minutes, we'll check it and we'll add the rest of the cheese at that point. So I'll save about a quarter of that. 30 minutes, 30. Dad, I'm hungry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go roast a hot dog, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> So I got my coals going over there because we was just kind of winging it from the hip to see what we was going to do for cooking. So sure. when they're ready, what I'll do is we're going to cook this at 375 for a half hour. We'll check it at that point out a little bit more and then it'll be 15 or 20 minutes. And so uh, when the coals are ready, we'll, uh, I'll just get it going and then I'll see you back next time you're out here. That sounds great. A true professional. <laughs> Always great to have him here with us at Park City Television. He'll be back in a little bit. Al, yeah, I can't wait to eat your food, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick break. Lots more on the program. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> well, hey, friends, welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show here on Park City Television. We have all of the elements for a fantastic yeah. <laughs> segment of outdoor cooking with Al because we are outdoors. We yep. can see our breath a little we can bit. See our breath, <laughs> and we're dealing with the elements. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Yeah, rain. I mean it set us back on time frame or whatever. Usually this would be the moment where we take a peek, but I just barely got this cooking like 15 minutes ago, so I don't want to open it. We want to get it cooking, but we're cooking this uh, 375. So I have eight briquettes on the bottom, 16 on top. This is a 10 inch Dutch oven. So I just want to keep that going for 30 minutes. And at that point, I'll put the rest of the cheese in a little butter, cook it for another 15, 20 minutes, and we should be good, so. 
Good stuff. For those of you just <laughs> joining us, Al is a regular guest who provides all kinds of tasty treats for us here at Park City Television this morning. It's mac and cheese in the Dutch oven. We had some challenges, but we have the right guy <laughs> for the solutions. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I get gray hair when I come here with all the worrying of the weather and stuff. Live TV <laughs> weather. We're out on the deck. It's good stuff. Yeah, yeah. But this recipe is in my cookbook, and you can get my cookbook on eBay. Just type in Outdoor Cooking with Al. And we have like 30 plus recipes in the cookbook too, so it's fun. Get out, everybody get out in the outdoors this summer, have a blast, I mean. Well, there's no question that there's something about setting up camp, whether it's going for a hike, going for a swim, taking the dogs for a walk. Yeah. Food just tastes better yeah. outdoors and yeah. when it's cooked on a campfire. Yeah. And in the Dutch oven, you just get it going and then you can go take the dog for a walk or go. Right. And it just cooks. Set it yeah. and forget it. <laughs> it's like the perfect slow yeah. cooker. <laughs> what are you excited for this summer? You got trips planned to, got to going, camp be outdoors? Yeah, we're going a couple weeks in Yellowstone. Uh, we're going. My mind went blank. You know, we do a lot of cooking in Lava Hot Springs. That's where our second home is. We're actually making the move to live there full time here. Oh, you really? Next month or so, you know, and then, and then we cook in Utah, you know, up by Mirror Lake. We go up in that area and stuff. So just a lot of places. I mean, you can, sometimes you just go to the city park and it's fun, you know, just to get out and do that. Have a picnic with the grandkids and stuff. So yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Is, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about city park now. Yeah. I'm also thinking about mac and cheese. Yeah, mac and cheese. So we got to let it cook a little longer, but the Dutch oven is going to do its thing. We're going to come back toward the end of the show. We're going to chat some more with Al. We're going to eat mac and cheese. We're going to turn on the taste division so everybody at home will know exactly how delicious it is. And uh, before we go to a commercial break, uh, tell folks all your social media and where to where to follow along besides just your book. Yeah, everything's outdoor cooking with Al on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all that. You know, we put a new video on our YouTube every week, so I have like 120 something videos That's on great, there already. Man. So about anything you want to cook, you could find it there. You know, it's all instructional, just from step one all the way to the end. So fantastic, yeah. Al Perry, everybody. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. We've got lots more show, but I guarantee you that we will come back and we will taste the tasty goods of Al's <laughs> labors right after this. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It is time for a segment that we have been teasing throughout this morning's show. And we have some real life that has interjected itself into our regular segment with a fellow that we're always happy to see here at Park City Television. He does an amazing job on YouTube. He has over 120 videos. It's Outdoor Cooking with Al. Yeah, Terry. Morning, buddy. We was outside, you know, it was raining, but we got the mac and cheese going and everything. We did. Like the last time we was out there, I was going to let it cook 30 minutes, put the lid lifter on there to check it, and the one side slipped off and went and dumped the whole lid of charcoals right in the mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. It's a good thing we brought hot dogs, huh? I heard. Right. We, we, <laughs> But yeah, I'm just well, like, things happen well, out there, and you and know, even though we're on the deck at a TV station, you're using the materials and the processes, like you say. I mean, you got yeah. your briquettes, and you're putting briquettes on top of the Dutch oven, underneath the Dutch oven, right. and stuff yeah. happens. Yeah, and it's live TV. I mean, that's we, right. We're just yeah, it happens. You know, stuff happens, and so this is yeah, like we said. You ruin the mac and cheese, you cook a hot dog. Absolutely. So yeah, but yeah, try the mac and cheese. Get on my channel, look at all the stuff, you know. Sure. Look at the clips. Like I said, we've done this once a month for a year and a half. Yeah, I have a lot a of videos on Park City TV's YouTube too, and I just leave them there. I don't put those on my YouTube, so I see. they're on Park City. But yeah, so we're gonna go home hungry today, huh? That's all right. <laughs> we, I was just making a joke yeah. that maybe we should uh, decamp to the boneyard. We just talked to our yeah. pal Sully Sullivan. <laughs> they're ra they're ra yeah. having a blood drive next week, and they have a lobster mac and cheese at Boneyard. So yeah, that maybe, is delicious. Uh, but yeah, if you <laughs> if you haven't tried a Dutch oven, try one. Get on my YouTube or try or research it. You know, because it's pretty easy. It's easy, but it's also there's something special about the Dutch oven. Of course, the Dutch oven is a cast iron right 
implement, so you get all of the cool aspects of seasoning. Yes, yes. From that Dutch oven. And everybody, you know, every everything tastes better when you're camping. And when you're cooking in the Dutch oven, that even ups it a notch or two. Absolutely. So, so you're yeah. on YouTube, and uh, tell folks where else they can find you across the world of the internet. Uh, well, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Outdoor Cooking with Al, I do stuff on there, uh, Instagram, Twitter. You know, I use CampMade's products a lot, you know. I have my own link on their website, CampMade.com. It's with all the instructional videos I have that I've used their product or on their website. And then if you do go to their website and purchase, put in promo code AL20, get 20% off nice. your order, free shipping. So there, there's another outlet if people are interested, go to CampMade.com. You can see different videos and stuff like there. And there's other cooks, you know, that do the product sure. too. So sure. you can kind of see see how everybody's spin is. It on. So it's a good place nice. to go visit. If you want to buy something, you know, you can just shop right there online. Sure thing. Awesome sauce, buddy. It's always yeah. good to see you. Yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll cook, it, cook it up again we'll, next we'll time. We'll do it again. Yeah, Cheers, for brother. sure. <laughs> Outdoor cooking with Al. Quick break. We've still got lots more show. We'll be right back after this.